<laughs> didn't want to warm up the camera that time. Here we go. Just thinking about it. It may not be a good angle. Come on, phone. I will know what this is. Let's try to get a better angle on this. Unfortunately, your fat head's in the way. That'll do. That should do. This one's actually readable at all. There we go. It says, huh. Turns out this isn't too bad, even if you're not sitting on the couch when you play it. Who knew? <laughs> That's what it says. I'm glad it wasn't your fucking Facebook page this time, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, let's look at this. Hey, we got another page. What does it say? Oh, we got two of these. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Hmm. What about this one? This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Hmm. I see. Are there anything... I was gonna say, I c if this is locked, I'll be kind of, like, weirded out. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors, as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard, and the weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. Well, that's a shame. End of broadcast. What are we having here? Hmm. Apparently, we only have one change of clothes, which we are currently wearing. Well, that's good. What about in here? Pretty nice looking bathroom, really. We got a tub and we got a shower that we can't open because, of course, we had to pull out the door. Huh. Well, you... Ha that could be a washer or a dryer. It could be one of those newfangled ones. But how you dry the clothes is my question. Whatever. It, it could be a combo. I think they make those now. They can, like, do both. Maybe I'm full of shit, though. Okay. All right, Al. I just Alice. Those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. I hate them. Kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. <laughs> yes, and I can boost the in-game voice for you. Let's see. Audio. They're all max, so I'm going to have to turn it up outside the game. But I can do... I can just turn up game volume entirely. If it's a little too quiet for you. Let's see. There we go. I turned it up quite a bit. I'll go ahead and knock down these effects. We'll keep up speech. There we go. Pfft. Of course not. I can't take the shortcut, right? I have to go the long way. Cause I, well, actually, I'm not sure what that is. A little, must be a uh, little closet in there. These look really good. Oh, Neat. Sure until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Are you uh, saying he Barry did it? He called. <gasps> Alan? I'm Alan, right here. Please check the fuse box. I'm right here in front of you. Come on it, honey. Please huh. hurry. <laughs> You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. I can tell. We'll just break out the candles. Oh, so I have zero batteries in this flashlight. But it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. 
I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. It was a zombie. Dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Liberty Prime is additionally creeped out by her, <laughs> by her mouth, just like Bobo. The facial animations in this, this game could be a bit, a bit better. It was released in 2010, though, so it wasn't as good as what we have now, right? But now it's back to Bright Falls. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Also, yes, you saw that right. There is a fish on the table behind him. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll okay. let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. It's a pretty fucking awesome ga name. Small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Sheriff Breaker. <laughs> oh, you're not going to talk, are you? Well, we'll call in our sheriff. Sheriff Breaker. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? She is? She's not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, mm -hmm. which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Although we just did. Thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Also, that is a pretty massive fish. It looks like it's probably about, I don't know, 24 inches? Maybe a little bit longer? Probably 20, 28. I I've... believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Yes, yes, yes. Just go down the corridor. Largemouth bass is actually what I fish for primarily. And I even have a master angler on one. It was like it was like real in a submarine when I pulled in mine. <gasps> Thermos, I think. What do you say? You saw something. Let's see. Have you seen this man disappear June 20th, 2007? Ident identifying features? Knack for winning contests. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. What is he known for? He's known for winning contests. Missing Richard Bog, Bruce Dansky, and Jacob Miller. Another camping trip, overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. Thank you. What about the kitty? Is the kitty not important enough? Well, clearly it isn't. It doesn't have a uh, large enough texture to read. Mr. Wake? Yes? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Neat. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess Don't mind me. Call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right Neat. in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Also, I think, uh, I think we had a scripting error there. Because we didn't actually see the woman that she's fucking talking about. Come in, Mr. Wake. Although you probably know who she's talking about. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? 
How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. Is there a thermos? The cops are going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do Mr. nothing Way, stupid, can I help pal. you with anything? For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, <laughs> no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. Neat. Let's see. Hey, there it is. It's all right, dude. It's going to be all right. Also, as Bobo pointed out, this is a commemorative thermos for the annual police ball. We'll be with you in a second, friend. Also, apparently I missed a couple of pages. It's not a big deal. The viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human shaped. She shook her head and laughed. I'm guessing it was probably the payday crew. <laughs> Damn it! I don't want to be alone in here! Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. No, oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Same's out. All right, we're coming, fella. Damn it, I... Hey! Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! You're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got it all wrong. See? Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I like how he's just nodding towards him. Drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. That only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I can tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! <laughs> I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk. Okay. We also got a page in here. Pick it up. Hey, this one was actually before it. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Neat. Also, we got the information we need out of you, so... Hmm. I seem to remember you going batshit. There you go. Right where you want? Will you just wait? You just wait. Uh, Maybe his reactions are just dull, being that he's a little tipsy. The morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. 
The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. And over here we find yet another thermos that's commemorative of another police ball. This one's actually from the, uh, from the 80s. That's right, but now that drunk's gonna be a he's gonna be a boss later. That's right, they're all America, fuck yeah. I see a page. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Good job, Chief Brick Everything. What we got over here? Pick it up. There you go. <laughs> Just stand on it first. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's something in here. License, had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, he's all tuckered out. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Save her, save her. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing they are not accountable for their actions of course i can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded tor and odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm indeed all we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia we actually know those two are you feeling any better mr wake i'd like to leave am i free to go well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my. Take it easy. He is played by Harrison Ford there, Bobo. <laughs> hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake... My offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. 
The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! I see that you only have one change of clothes also, which Barry just loves. Who's Max? That's his finish. What Who knows, man? Bear? Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. If you say so. The butt to Charlie. The skeleton of a, Columbia, a Colombian ma mammoth, the Mammoth's Columbi, this specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998 when the Colombian Mammoth became Washington State's, well, it became Washington State fossil. Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. There you go. I think I carved one of these in Yakuza 4. <laughs> or at least uh, Saajima did. Well, I guess we're not taking a shit today, Alan. Better hold it. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? Uh -huh. the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been yes. drinking? Maybe. No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <gasps> Thermos! This one, oddly enough, is an Alan Wake thermos. He didn't actually know that Alice had made these. So I can't go out that way yet. I know we will eventually. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Sure. Sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. I like how this trap is actually like secured is to the deck here. I gave him and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Yep. I was just about to get that and then you decide to carry on the conversation. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You got to talk to the cops. She's my wife and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing it Listen. You hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Nope. Also, Cougar. <laughs> Pick up the form. Pick it up, Al. I guess you need to write some stuff on it. Okay. Huh. Nicely laid out brochures. Nothing on the Grizzly, although there's a uh, an informational placard about the Grizzly. Here you go, just set next to the dog. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. It's a pretty big dog, really. 